Other members? Councillor McRobb. Thank you, Chair. Can I say first that I think this, like others here tonight, I think this meeting and that of the 23rd of March were wholly unnecessary. I'm not the only one to think the CAPMOS contract should have been properly addressed as part of the budget approval process. Like other councillors, I abstained in the vote. That I will get to the budget, Mr Chairman. I abstained in the vote on the 23rd of March because I know that many of my constituents in Oakham North West... This is, uh, Councillor McRobb, you do need to talk about the budget, not, not uh, what previously has happened and uh, things that happened in meetings that were in private. Can I explain my reason for abstention was that I hoped money could be found from a total expenditure budget of 50 million. But it appears that the financial cupboard is bare and we are only left with unpalatable options. We're being asked to choose between community fitness and community flooding. And whichever option we choose will inevitably disappoint very many residents. It's an invidious choice. But I believe we have to address flooding as a long term strategy. The recent storms and floods were a warning. It's very likely they will be repeated and it's likely that they will worsen. We're here to represent as best we can our constituents, the council and the county as a whole. When these conflict, we can only choose the option that provides the greatest benefit for all Rutland residents in the long term. We must put aside individual constituency loyalties and think of the greater good. Our choice this evening must therefore be for the long-term security of our communities. And I will consequently vote against Amendment 1. Thank you.